Jesse, and this is my coworker and friend Mike, and we're both guides up here at Hearst Castle. We're excited to have the opportunity today to show you a part of the museum that isn't seen very often. William Randolph Hearst had a vast art collection, and believe it or not, it's not all on display. Just like many of us may have a designated area in our homes to keep our possessions, so does Mr. Hearst. There are several storage locations throughout the estate. Some of the vaults are down in the basement, which is a little over 14,000 square feet. Let's go see what Mr. Hearst's idea of storage looks like. There are several vaults down here. I like to think that opening up each door is like opening up a portal to the past. Historically, in the assembly room, there were two pianos. Today, there's only one, a hundred-year-old Wurlitzer piano with the Apollo reproducing mechanism, a type of player piano that you're familiar with today. The rolls to my right, there's hundreds of these rolls. There's only about 50 for the Apollo piano. Pianists and composers would often preserve a lot of the songs on rolls such as these. Some of our more musically inclined guests that came up, Hoagie Carmichael, a gentleman by the name of Bing Crosby, who sung in 1942 Irving Berlin's song, White Christmas. Mr. Hearst collected many things and carpets and rugs were no ex exception. He had carpets from Persia, which is modern day Iran today, Kerman, Tabriz, Meshed, and he also had carpets from India, Turkey, and China. One of the largest rugs we have on display today is in the second floor in the library. It is 22 feet by 35 feet. One of the most common questions we get from visitors in the refectory or dining room is what are all those flags? Well, today we have a chance to take a peek at an original antique silk banner from Siena, Italy. Banners such as this one were displayed in a traditional horse race called the Palio, also known as the Race of the Districts. Held in the main plaza of Siena, this race has been happening for hundreds of years and still happens twice a summer on July 2nd and August 16th. Each banner represents one district with its own color, coat of arms, and symbolic animal. Although this banner is thought to be from the 16th to 17th century, there are modern replicas lining the walls of the refectory today. It has been said that Mr. Hearst collected anything and everything that he liked. He collected antiquities of all types and doors were no exception. The craftsmen who created these incorporated a tremendous amount of detail. Some of the doors on display in the house are copies to protect the originals. In addition to the doors, some of the original alabaster lampshades are stored in this vault as well. The lamps found out in the gardens have carved marble bases with shades made out of resin for preservation purposes. However, 
The 20 lamp standards found at the indoor Roman pool all have shades carved out of alabaster. The equestrian sculpture stored in this vault is a French carved stone creation from the 15th century. It was sold to Mr. Hearst as the Duke of Burgundy goes hunting. A cast stone copy was made here in San Simeon in 1986 to protect the original. That copy is located directly above the front door of Casa Grande. Construction up here lasted about 28 years, and just before Mr. Hurst passed away in 1951, he was asked how far along he was in construction, and he said he was just about halfway finished with it. So it would not have been a stretch to see Mr. Hurst and his architect, Julia Morgan, maybe incorporating some of the antiques that we see in the vaults in further construction. Mr. Hurst was a man of, of many interests, and he collected and saved things that were important to him. What do you have in storage? Are these things important to you? We hope you enjoyed this uh, brief peek down the basement vaults. And on behalf of myself, Mike Davis, and my good friend and fellow guide, Jesse Harvey, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.